You guys, we are still in the middle of a pandemic. Still in the middle of a pandemic. Oh my god, Welcome back to another estrogen release video. I am Asia. And honestly, it's like the time has just flown by. I wanna say month, I think this is month six. I'm still maintaining for the most part. God is good, family's healthy, I'm healthy. The bills are getting paid, so I really don't have too much to complain about. The hardest part for me right now is that our country is trying to slip back into this normal area, but there's nothing normal about a pandemic and so, kind of feel like a pull and tug like oh I want to do it but that's not really safe or I'm willing to take the risk but this is the stipulations and it's just that that balancing act so it's still pretty crazy but again I'm doing well and I can't complain also wanted to share with you guys a few things that have been getting me through this pandemic so number one is my family I love my family I've been able to hang out with my family under safe terms um, so that's pretty great number two my friends like I said, my group chats are flourishing. I was able to actually hang out with my friends a few weeks ago, which was a plus. Um, and yeah, I really have been um, trying to stay in touch with the people I truly care about. So that's been definitely getting me through this pandemic. But another thing that's been getting me through is Instagram. Now, Instagram is like, it's like the devil spawn, but also the angel's gift, the Lord's gift. I thought it would be fun to take you guys through my funny folder on Instagram. These memes, you guys, let's get into it. This meme I felt on a spiritual level. I am so thankful that I am single and childless at this very moment in the middle of a pandemic because I truly only have to look out for myself and that feels amazing. <laughs> I don't want to go through things that don't kill me but make me stronger anymore, period. This I also felt on a spiritual level because this year has truly been like, OMG, what's next? Like, it's honestly like punch after punch after punch after punch. Like, health experts, please wear protective suits in space, Americans. Yo, I have never thought, one thing this pandemic has really shown me is that people just do not care about other people. And I'm not saying like you have to always put your life on the line for others, but it's just as simple as wearing a mask. Like, why is this such a debate? Like, I really don't get it. Like, I don't understand why people think it's stomping on their rights just for someone to say, hey, you need to wear a mask in my store because I don't want you spreading your germs to my customers. I wanna keep my customers safe, so I need you to wear a mask. The fact that people are arguing about it, it just blows my mind, like seriously. I feel weird reading these like line by line because it's like, I feel like I'm trying to deliver a joke, but. <laughs> and this is actually had this happen to me very recently. I was just like, girl, what? Where is this John at? 10 year old me. I'm never gonna be those born adults always in a bad mood. Me today. Yo, it's so funny to me that all those characters that we thought were just pissy people, just always in a bad mood. For real, for real, I think they were trying to, cartoonists were trying to warn us. They were trying to warn us and say like, yeah, this is real life and you're about to, you're about to experience it. One more, hi. I hate when people walk past me just stare into my apartment like, girl, I'm recording. Stop looking in here and making me nervous. Mm -mm. Sometimes they stare at me and then they don't wave and I'm just like, <laughs> me deciding if I'm going to get up or not. This again, me. Honestly, like I tried my best to stay so, they call it the first semester of the quarantine, but I tried my best to stay, stay so productive during the first part of the quarantine and then that productivity just went out of me. I was like, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm good. No, thank you. I'm going to sleep in when I can. I used to wake up, take a shower, you know, even if I wasn't doing anything, just to feel like I'm, I'm doing something, you know, I was just staying in the house. 
now honey i'm just on like it's getting so bad i've been using siri to set my own alarms i don't even feel like grabbing my phone like my phone will be right here and i don't even feel like grabbing my phone i'll tell siri to hey set an alarm for me and she does it and now i'm spoiled so <laughs> not a good look companies our employees are just fine employees <laughs> That's actually fun. Okay, I I just feel like I don't want to be somewhere where I'm not valued. And I've been blessed to have jobs where I felt valued and I felt that I was being heard. If I had any concerns, I typically don't have a lot of concerns that I'm willing to express because I don't want to come off as a complainer. But, but for the most part, I've had leadership and managers and bosses who just really cared about their employees. But this is super accurate. I've been talking to my friends and I know jobs are not even providing PPE, which is crazy. And they're not even checking in on their the well-being of their employees but then expect their employees to come to work happy like make it make sense when you're telling a story and someone interrupts you like oh that happened and happened to me and they start telling their story <laughs> this actually does make me upset i do it myself too sometimes and i always try to like be mindful of it because i feel like it's just so rude my brain i'm already like once i have my story in mind if you cut me off, I'm probably going to forget the story and I'm probably going to forget the point I was trying to make. So it's just like, I hate when it happens, but that's super accurate. In 2020, learn to leave toxic people behind. <laughs> the U.S. during a pandemic in movies, the U.S. during a pandemic in real life. That's also very accurate. When this thing first popped off, I watched Outbreak and um, what's the other one? With Kate Winslet and Gwyneth Paltrow. And Matt Damon, if I keep saying their names, maybe that will come up. Contagion. Or Contagion. But yeah, like they went in, and those those viruses and diseases were 10 times worse. But like, it was just like they went in overdrive. How we thought the pandemic was going to go and then how it actually is going. So, <laughs> everybody applies for new jobs at their current job. And that's just point blank period. When you're both toxic for each other, but you try to make it work. <laughs> I don't know why Chucky means like have me on another level of amusement. Like I just cannot stop laughing at him. <laughs> and it's like they look so happy in the pictures. Oh um, gee, sorry, I just saw your text. It's been a crazy day. Also me. Sweet. It doesn't even matter. It could just be a, a mentally a crazy day. If I'm in my bed all day and I haven't responded to your text, that is my business. Me complain that I have no social life when in reality I love staying home and not talking to anyone for several days in a row. Very accurate. I do not mind being by myself. I am a fan of my own company. <laughs> this is also pretty accurate. Uh, it's just, uh, I love these memes so much. I'm not going to keep going through all these. I feel like I'm talking a lot and I don't even know what this video is going to do. But I thought I should come on here not only just to encourage you guys to stay strong and keep moving forward because we will get through this pandemics do end and we just have to take the right steps and just be mindful and considerate of other people and trying to protect other people from our germs the more we do that the closer we get to the ending of this pandemic try to stay motivated stay positive and um get out of the house every once in a while things are starting to open back up because people are realizing that you know if you properly social distance and wear your mask you're not exposing yourself to um, germs as much. And so that's kind of, I feel like that's been helping with the numbers. Long story short, thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Bye. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.